Hey, this is Typhon um, from Hexrooms.com coming at you with a game. A um, little PvP action today. Going to be playing the Inspire on my end against King's Landing. So, um, I had a really stunning opening hand. I mean, I have my late game in there, but not going to really help me get to get there um, at this point. I can deal with this, so I've got at least two, and my Legionnaire, um, which short of some hand destruction, um, I should be able to, to clear out some board at the end there. Um, as you can see, I've got the uh, CPU counters for the hex.exe process running on the side of the cast, just to kind of give you an idea as, as I started the game, how the processes have creeped up on its own. This is isolated just to hex.exe, so not any other processes. Oh, let's see. Oh, got another artifact deck. We'll see how this goes. Played an artifact deck a little bit earlier, and they curved up incredibly well. Um, had two war machinists down early, which was just burning me. So I've got some options at this point. I've got the Shield Trainer, Steadfast, or I've got my Ruby Pyromancer. I'm gonna play a little offensive. I know how the artifact deck kind of gets uh, if it goes off. So I'll start stacking, um, stacking attacks. And Steadfast is gonna be really overly helpful for me since the artifact deck itself doesn't really attack that much. So Tactical Genius, which allows them to play Artifacts for one less. So that Worker Battle now will be free. Um, that Charge Bot will also be free. So now we're going to stack tokens on the Factory. So see there's two tokens on this factory and there's one token on this factory. And then he's going to utilize his charge power which brings out an additional worker bot that will charge up his factories even more. So the way this works is that once there's four counters on it, he can create a worker bot and if there's two running, I forgot what the exact math is, but if you're running two then you can pretty much get one off every two turns. So good thing I have Gawain down, I mean, Legionnaire of Gawain available, so I should be able to board clear him. There's absolutely no point in attacking at this point. Um, he's going to have some throwaway troops they can use to block.
So he's got research librarian. to effect later um, what the uh, the research librarian does is once per turn pay seven draw a card if you pay one less use this power for each artifact you control so he's got uh, four artifacts so next turn he's gonna be able to play that if he wants He's about to, I think his factory's ready to go here, so he'll he'll put another one out and that'll make that a two. I think this one is also ready now, so now he'll be able to draw cards for one. And I don't think this has... Yeah, there's no minimum of one, so... He has six... So he's one artifact away from being able to draw two cards every turn. Um, That is going to be problematic since I still need two resources to get to the Legionnaire of Gawain. That's a shame. Um, I know I need the Legionnaire, but I really need some resources. So we're still two turns out. Um, at this point, I'm going to have to start reducing the number of artifacts they have in play. So, um, due to a bug. With the Legion of Gawain, you need one more Inspire card than you actually would need, so I still need three on the board. Um, looks like... Let's see, hopefully he'll throw some... Throw something in there to block. Nope. Clearly King's Landing knows what he's doing. <laughs> So I thought this was going to be a Sapphire Ruby um, artifact deck. Um, that's the burn version, but it looks to be more of a straight artifact. So um, a blue artifact. Ooh, two research librarians. So he is one artifact away from drawing three cards per hand. The miscount here. Looks like he just drew, so that's one, two, three, four, five, six. So, okay, yeah, that's right. And these counters are at three and two, so he is literally one artifact from going off on me. Moving ever so closer. <laughs> uh, I 
just can't. If I have, if I get one more resource, I can board wipe them. So I just... wow, well, would love to attack and get him, get him to throw something at me. Clearly, he's not going to. He's got a plan. So this is going to be the turn to see what happens. He has to know I've got a bomb about to go off. So if I can uh, top deck a resource. So there's the uh, a third worker, which will start charging up his other workers. This one's already at three. So now he's drawing cards, two cards for free. As his charge ability, so he's yeah he's down at zero now for three three cards a turn. And there's the volcano. Um, So at this point, what it comes down to is that I need to draw a resource. Um, he has enough to do one, two, one, two, three, three to reset. D deals three. So he can do ten at me. Yeah, so this is where it comes into play. If I can top deck a resource, he'll I can clear out his all his um all his dwarfs and his artifacts. So let's see if we can get this done here. And there it is. So this should be pretty disappointing for him. Um, as I target So I'm going to go ahead and use my charge power first and get my uh, character booted up and then I'm going to play Legionnaire. So if the game doesn't lock out, which this should at least nullify the Vulcan for a while, but and I'll be able to hit for I'll be able to hit for 11 this turn. Um, I should be able to finish the game by next turn. So let's see here. He's chaining his bull cannon. Trying to eliminate one of my characters so that it, there's less inspire. No, the bull cannons. Uh, target champion, so let's see, he's trying to make it go off this turn while he still can. It's a pretty smart move. Um, So he should have enough for one more charge, I think. Uh, yep. yep. There it goes. Resets the Vulcan, shoots me for another time. I'll be down at nine. No 
deals three. I'll be down eleven. Now we're going to implement the Legionnaire Gawain's effect, which as I told you before, should be doing 3 damage, but it's only going to end up doing 2 because of the bug um, that we've already logged. So And this actually should finish the game off. And that's it. Once again, this is Typhon from HexRoms.com. Um, thank you for joining me for another um, cast, and see you next time.